Hey friends, listen, I wanna talk about some of the stuff I brought when I was camping recently. Let's do a little trip report. First of all, I gotta fish this little bit of my earbud out of my ear. The AirPods Pro, there's finally some third party uh, foam ear tips that can go on them. My experience has been like so, so. I'll link to mine below. There's a few on the market, I've only tried one. But it's been good, now it's starting to get a little loose. That's the first part of the trip report. Okay, I just went camping for a couple days with some good buddies. And we got out into the wilderness of the desert outside of San Diego. Let's talk about some of the things that I brought. Let me share just sort of free flow what I think about some of this stuff because there's some good gear that I've acquired recently I want to talk about and some old gear that like still just performs so well. Now when I'm camping, I like to have one big backpack. I knew that we would be going from our like sort of campsite hiking up a like a 30 maybe 30 minutes but pretty vertical incline to go to the top of these rock areas where we're gonna be hanging hanging out all day so I like to have a big backpack comfy straps that I can just throw bunches of snacks we threw our singing bowl some drums snacks all sorts of stuff this was filled up with stuff and we needed that because it was uh, we, we ended up bringing too much stuff up the mountain if you know what I mean but this is the gravel travel bag it's the only travel bag I currently have with me right now because I'm living on the road with my family right now we're in San Diego staying with our friends this thing performs really great it actually has these dividers so you can bento box stuff up I didn't really need to do that um, though when I live out of this bag normally I keep it kind of organized with those dividers like pants are on one side shirts are on the other long sleeves over here that's kind of nice to stay organized but what's most important about this what I want to really call attention to is just like okay you can put a bunch of stuff in this box <laughs> and then you can put it on your back and it's kind of comfortable and then the material itself is super durable you can see it's quite dirty and scuffed but I had no worries at all about just throwing this face down, even face up, like this stuff can get a little gunky. You can see there's, maybe you can see there's a bunch of uh, like little sand pebbles and stuff in there. But when I'm camping, I don't mind using gear like that. And I just wanted to say this gravel travel bag, which I will link below, put up with the abuse. Now, probably the most important thing is staying warm in the nighttime when you're in the desert. So what did we do there? Here you can see I've got some socks wrapped around my jammy pants. The whole deal is when you get into your bed at night, when you get into your sleeping bag, you wanna be cozy, you wanna be comfortable. We were using some pretty, just like janky sleeping bags that my buddy had in his back. He's like, I, I hope this will work. And so I knew I needed to bring some layers. I brought a couple pairs of merino wool socks, really fat like wool socks. I always have a pair of those when I am, actually, you know what, farm to feet are the ones that I use most recently. I brought these ones to test them out and I wished I had my big farm to feet. I'll link to those below because it's really like, you know, well sourced wool. These are very thin, but just cozy and comfy. They're my marine layer lounge pants. Some of my favorite lounge pants for just comfy cozy. The only problem is you can't, like there's not a zipper pocket on these, for example. These ones are actually way more high performance for camping type of thing. These are the Western Rise joggers. I'll link to the uh, marine layers below and the Western Rise. What I like about these is they have a zipper pocket. So you can put your AirPods or your, or you know something in a little baggies in here, zip it up. You don't have to worry about losing anything. These pockets I'm losing stuff out of all the time, but these marine layer cozies are, you know, lounge pants are, are extremely cozy for those lazy days. So I took these as my jammy pants and this as my jammy shirt. It was actually my only long sleeve too. It's a, I love Henley shirts. I just feel like they're very, they look very casual, but you know, if you can, if you can get your workouts in, <laughs> it accentuates your body quite nicely. Hey man, you're looking pretty good. This one is from United by Blue. United by Blue sent me a shipment. Thank you, United by Blue. This is a pretty solid, like kind of a waffle Henley. The cool thing about United by Blue is they're super eco-conscious. Your money there is spent uh, to help clean up the oceans. Thanks, United by Blue. Okay, so speaking of that warmth, here's all of, I brought several warm things, okay? So I had this on almost the whole time to keep me out of the sun because it was my only long sleeve. I had just a regular, that's probably my favorite sweater of all time <laughs> for some reason, New Moon Natural Foods Lake Tahoe. What's up Lake Tahoe? Uh, this is just one of those standard alternative apparel soft sweaters that I just, the hoodie sweater I just live for sometimes. I had that long sleeve, then that, then the Western Rise 
uh, airlock jacket, probably my favorite jacket of all time in terms of durability. It's not too bulky, it can, it can break down pretty good, but it's still nice and insulated. And then I had this on top of it, which is just a flannel with some fuzzies inside. This is also by United by Blue. Uh, it is nice and cozy, I'd say for more of an urban situation because, uh, did I just say situation? <laughs> We really didn't have time for situation. This outside material is pretty soft, so I tried to be kind of careful with that one. It's a little more urban. Then another thing from Western Rise here, this is their Merino beanie. I don't know if they're still selling these, but this is one of my favorites. Um, this is like a little smart wool one that I, that I also keep in my bag because it's super thin and, and there's nothing to it. You can just throw it somewhere in case you, I don't know, for some reason you double or you need to give one to a buddy. Um, but I use this one almost the whole time because uh, because it was it got kind of chilly in the nighttime and I like this little thing. Okay, so that's like the most, when I think of like the most essential things, I think of warmth and then I think of water. So we had a whole five gallon thing that we filled up at the store. I just brought this to show you because like, yeah, it's big, but you throw it in your car, you know what I mean? Then there was the pants that I didn't take off basically the entire time. These are the Western Rise Diversion Pant, okay? Probably my favorite camp pant when I'm, when I just need to wear something that's gonna be durable, it's gonna put up a lot of shit. I knew we were climbing up to the top of this mountain, we were gonna be hanging on top of these rocks just exploring life the universe and everything for a little while and I just needed something durable it's stretchy enough it moves enough and it's light enough it's war it was like warm enough in the in the evening time once I put on some socks arguably their evolution pant would have been a better fit for the the desert because the evolution pants a little thinner just as much durability in my experience but a little thinner a little less hot but honestly the wind was blowing so much that the slight Slightly thicker, little bit, tiny bit warmer than the Evolution pant. I'm glad that I had these diversions. Thank Western Rise. Thank Western Rise. Okay, and then two t-shirts I want to show you here. One of them is United by Blue, which is their hemp. It is 95% recycled polyester and 15% hemp. These are just blank tees with a pocket on them. Thanks, uh, United by Blue. These are actually great. I had, they sent one in blue and one in white. I wore this white one out up there. I just left it on underneath my long sleeve even through the hot of the day because it, it just, I don't know, I did. <laughs> I was, I was, it was too hard to take it off. The other shirt I think you should know about is Western Rises. This is all like United by Blue and Western Rise right now. That's just what's in my bag is there, um, they have this like, it's, I think it's called the Cotton X shirt. And especially as the weather starts cooling off a bit where you are maybe, this is a cotton shirt that has a slightly thicker, something about, I don't, I can't remember the details on the material. I'll link to it below, but it's a little bit thicker and I really like it. It is a no-go for me in summertime because it's just slightly thicker and a little too hot hot, that's where these hemp ones come in. But having this when it got colder, I could have totally, if I needed another layer, this would have kept me slightly even warmer than this. Every little bit counts when you're out, <laughs> when you're out under the twinkle stars, inebriated and, uh, and <laughs> just, you know, you really need to stay warm enough is all I'm getting at. The Cotton X shirt is a slightly warmer t-shirt from Western Rise, check it out. A couple other things, this LED headlamp is really great. If I can find info, I'll put it below. And these Shama sandals, I absolutely lived in. I love barefoot shoes. These are epic out in nature. Okay, then another couple things here, okay? These two things. One, this is again United by Blue. Thanks, United by Blue. Four, actually I think these came, there was two of these. So it was two bowls and two sort of sporks with a spoon. I combined two of them into one. Four bowls, four spoons, forks, things. This actually was pretty great because I, I didn't have anything else to use. And just having a bowl, like you don't need a plate, just having a bowl, slopping up some food, that's nice. Then the Omni Charge, okay? This thing is a little bit bulky compared to just having a regular little charger. I could have been totally fine with a regular little charger because we didn't need to charge much, but it does come in handy because you can even charge your laptop, you can charge computers and phones and cameras. All sorts of stuff with it. It even has an AC outlet. It's not gonna keep an AC outlet like super charged for super long, but it can be helpful. Thanks, OmniCharge. And the bonus on that is the cables that came with that are my favorite cables ever. Okay, so that was my trip. That's what I took. Besides my little my little medicine kit, which I always have, video on this for Patreon subscribers. Shout out if you have any questions there. Uh, and then the Camelback Pivot is my, kind of what I'm using right now is my go-to sort of man purse. I literally walk around with this 
just around my race. I, I've just given up. I've given up, you know? Because it's nice to have your car keys not in your pocket, to have your like little, your mask, your all the like AirPods, all that stuff just goes right there. This is daddy's man purse. Wherever you live, whatever you're doing, I hope you get out. Make sure you just have water and you're warm enough. Have some food, right? I'm not showing you the food I brought. We just stopped at the grocery store and took stuff out. I wasn't raised camping. It's not really what I've been into for, like I, I'm just learning how to do it for the most part, but I'm really good at hanging out with other people. I've been doing that my entire life. And hanging in nature, getting some time alone, doing some solitude, right? That's what can be so valuable right now. When you, like you're talking to somebody and then it like, then it's quiet and you realize, oh my God, it's silent. We were talking about the experience of being like snowboarding when you're down some back mountain path or something like that and then you're like waiting for someone who's far up, far behind you or something you stop and you're like, oh, the sound of the trees and shit. Man, just getting out in the nature and seeing a different speed of life and a different quality of life. Getting out into wilderness and realize like, you didn't plant that tree. You, nobody planted that tree there. This is the, the forest is growing, right? These rocks are old, right? I don't know, I just feel like that's a nice little counterpoint to modern life. And I find it personally grounding and gives me a little bit of perspective on what I'm dealing with throughout the day. So I wanted to show you what I brought with me, all these instruments that I've been playing also we brought with us because there's some musical guys there and it was, Music will save you, bro. When you're really lost, music can really save you. Okay, make good choices, be yourself. Ask any questions in the comments below, but really, I'm just glad to chat with you. Thanks for watching. Be yourself, everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.